Hi everyone, so today we will uh, quickly go through one of the upcoming budding platforms which is one of the fantastic platforms uh, which is available for free for uh, Indian markets and also a lot of other instruments which are available on this particular platform. The platform is known as GoCharting and um, today I am going to give a quick uh, basic introduction into market profile which is used uh, uh, widely by uh, many traders. So we'll give you a quick introduction of how a market profile is there, uh, which can be used on this particular uh, charting platform and how to keep some of the settings for this particular thing if you're using this uh, charting platform is something which I will talk about. So we'll show you a quick comparison of what the price movements are and what these alphabets are and why a market profile is the, the way it is. All right. So one of the first things what one needs to understand from a market profile perspective is that this is basically based on a distribution. So if you have heard of uh, multiple uh, uh, distributions uh, over a period of time, what you would uh, understand is that uh, a normal distribution which is also known as a Gaussian distribution, predominantly it is known as a bell curve. Uh, if you have ever been in a HR profession, you would have heard of bell curve a lot. So what it is trying to do is it is trying to print the price uh, over a period of distribution. And uh, there are a lot of other important aspects of market profile which we will cover in the uh, next few minutes as we talk more. Uh, but we need to understand the basics of why these letters are printed and what uh, kind of distribution uh, is the market profile creating. All right, so what it is saying is that over a period of the day, uh, how is the data distributed? Okay, so you can see this is the kind of axis uh, where it is there and price will be there on this particular chart and you can see a clear distribution which is coming out on the chart. Okay, so if you if you draw a curve, it very clearly shows a curve where majority of the transaction is happening at a lower price and higher price transaction happened only at a certain point in time. These charts are based on uh, Sierra charts and uh, you know that's the reason you will see that uh, these charts are starting with uh, C and a few people might get confused why is the chart not starting at uh, A or B. Predominantly this is a situation because the Indian market does not start at 8.30 pretty much starts at around 9.15 so it kind of picks up from the letter C. Alright, uh, so instead of A and B it starts with a letter C and usually the open price is highlighted with a O. Okay, we'll talk more on these aspects. I'll give you a comparison letter to letter and price to price right now. And then we will go into some of the other aspects of, uh, you know, uh, what this uh, charting platform is all about and how you can uh, look at uh, uh, trading using the market profile. All right. So there are key points. So first thing is that we'll go one by one. We'll understand how these letters are. And as I said, it starts with the letter C. So you'll see C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M and N. So these would be the common letters based on the time and the hash symbol would be the closing point uh, for the market or the closing price. So technically you can see the price opened here and the price kind of closed much lower from the open price. So it opened at around 840 but however it's closed around 831. So what is this letter C from the open price? So what it tells me is that it opened at around 840, moved up till around 843 and then it came down the price came down and eventually came down to around 832 and then you will see the D starting at around 831 and the D started moving up. So in the first 30 minutes it is very evident that from where the price opened it tried to move up and then eventually it moved down and that is how it is created. So these charts are predominantly looked at a 30 minute time frame or a higher time frame from 30 minutes. 30 minute is an ideal market profile recommended uh, timeline. At the end of this video, I will also suggest you a few books which would be uh, really good for you to read uh, from a particular author. So hang on till that time. So the first is this. So now if you uh, have a reference of candlesticks, you know, 16th of uh, April is the date which we are uh, looking at here. You can see this is what I'm talking about. So I'll give you a reference point here. You can very clearly see that the chart actually opened at around 840, made a high of around 843, eventually came down 832. And you can see the next one, the print started from here and the price actually moved up from a D perspective. 
So that is exactly what's happening. So you can see a D starting over here and then it starts moving up. So now you'll see a mix of alphabets here that, you know, at various times, you know, uh, various price points. So as the scale starts going up, so for example, G is printed right up over here. So G is typically a time at around 11.15 where the stock was trading really, really high. So as you see that the price breaks the opening range and starts moving up, it will start printing the alphabets to arrange it in that particular order. So it started with C, started with D, started with E, but E started breaking out and F started moving up. So what we need to understand from that perspective is that as it as the price moved out the, uh, of the initial range, the alphabet starts kind of moving behind and it starts printing in the previous line. Okay. So it is kind of trying to tell us that the price actually moved up over a period of time after the market moved up. But eventually the price has got rejected at around 8.53. And then as we see, as the day started ending, the price has started to move down. So from a distribution perspective, that is what it is telling me when you look at this particular chart. So when you correlate that, you can very clearly see the price got rejected over here and the second half of the day for all the alphabets which are printed, the price started moving down. So predominantly from a market profile perspective, this kind of created a bearish pattern and it is saying that the price might move down because uh, the sellers are rejecting the price from upside. So now that we understand the letters, there are certain patterns which are uh, there as part of market profile basics, which one can understand. So if it creates like a letter B, for example, the distribution majority of the transaction distribution is at the bottom and the tail is more of a upper tail, which has got created for that particular day. This becomes a bearish pattern for market profile, wherein when the day was really bullish, it usually creates a pattern called P. Okay. So the distribution pretty much starts uh, from the bottom. And, and the distribution eventually moves up, all right, which creates a P kind of a pattern. So you can see this pattern over here. Uh, I know it will not show you alphabets if you, uh, you know, zoom out, but you can see where is the open price, all right, and then how the price has kind of moved up, okay. And then this kind of tells you that the price never came back to the initial space and the demand was kept up and it closed much higher from the open price, which is kind of telling you that people were interested in buying and that is pretty much seen the next day it opened above the previous day close and it again kind of created a, a strong uh, pattern. So when you see a pattern where the tail or the shadow is at the bottom, it creates a P like an alphabet P. Uh, if you are able to visualize the distribution curve over here, and the line over here, uh, which very clearly indicates that it is a P. Okay. So this is a P and a B pattern. So a P pattern is typically a bullish pattern and a B pattern is typically a bearish pattern. And the other distributions are regular distributions, which creates like a D pattern, not typically a P pattern, or there might be multimodal uh, distributions, which might happen, which might be like this. So there was initial distribution here, distribution here, distribution here, distribution here. So through the day, there are multiple levels where the stock has uh, traded, but uh, there are multiple typical D patterns. So, you know, when you see that it is trading within the same range as yesterday, but you know, it is not showing any weakness, neither it is showing any strength. Uh, predominantly, the stock is kind of uh, sideways and not really bullish, but you know, you can see that uh, it is like a profile within profile. So there is a huge uh, range which has got created here and within that range, the stock is trading. So it is moving sideways, but as it breaks out and opens higher and starts moving up, you can see that it leaves all these distribution and there is more buying interest at a higher price and the stock starts moving up. So usually what we see is that when the distribution uh, moves down or when the uh, you know, price significantly moves down and it loses uh, or creates a B distribution, like a bearish distribution where there is more selling on top. Uh, it is not creating a proper D, alphabet D kind of a, a distribution. We can see that the stock trust, you know, trend starts moving down. So there are various types of distributions one can watch uh, in market profile and you know take uh, certain trades and interpret the data from a distribution perspective. 
apart from these things there is something called as uh, an initial balance initial balance is the uh, first uh, 30 minutes of movement of the stock and then the rest of the movement which gets kind of highlighted in this uh, particular uh, range and also from a setting perspective please make sure that your tpo is 1 or 0.5 so that you can see the alphabets at times by default it might pick up a 5 uh, which wouldn't be an ideal uh, thing for you to look at the alphabets and from a value area perspective you know you can very clearly see that uh, there is uh, inside and uh, outside uh, value area which are uh, created uh, and you know you can obviously uh, review uh, those aspects and uh, take uh, certain decisions but one of the key things uh, which are apart from the value area uh, percentage you can see that the value area percentage is 70 percent and if you know that uh, normal distribution usually has around 68 percent approximately that's rounded as 70 percent here which is the major part of the distribution where majority of your uh, transaction is happening which is technically uh, sigma 1 all right, so plus and minus uh, one sigma or plus and minus two sigma kind of accounts to around 70% of your distribution. When you take plus and minus three sigma, it will account to more than 99% of your uh, distribution, which gives you the value area at a higher price. So technically here, it's taking about one to two sigma to understand that the value area, that is where majority of the transaction is happening or 70% of the transaction is happening. So when you see uh, that kind of a value within the from a value area perspective, what you need to understand is that the initial movement is this and then there is a value area high and a value area low which is created uh, and those points will act as a strong support and resistance from a rejection perspective. And when those points are broken from the previous day level or the current day level, there might be a significant movement which will happen in the stock on the opposite direction because as it breaks, it will start going down significantly. As it breaks on the upside, it will start going up. And also these value area highs and value area lows which are created on the chart will act as strong support and resistance over a period of time. So it is something which is worth watching. All right. So that's a quick intro of uh, what uh, the market profile chart is all about and how you can identify an open and uh, a close and how you can understand the alphabets from how the alphabets are printed up for every 30 minute candle. You can you know use a price action candle or any other candlesticks which you uh, use on a regular basis. You can use it on a 30 minute thing and you can compare market profile to interpret it. One of the key things in market profile is also known as point of control which is known as POC. Uh, which you will see as a strong thick uh, yellow line which is coming up on the chart that is nothing but a point where majority of the transaction happened or a price where majority of the buy and sell has happened okay it's the highest point of distribution or the middle point of the distribution where the most number of transactions happen it's also a point to note from a support and resistance perspective because at times when the uh, stocks uh, retrace or you know when the stock prices move up and down uh, you will always see a point of control and a value area high and value area low acting as support and resistance. All right. So you can see that uh, this blue uh, mark and the center line is the value area. So you can see that this will act as a very strong resistance and when it breaks that resistance, there is a significant movement. If that resistance is not broken over a period of time, the stock price starts uh, moving down as it breaks the value area low on the bottom side. So this was acting as a very strong support at around 824, 825 level. As it broke down, it has moved down significantly, which has happened on the last trading session. But however, this is a fair understanding for uh, anyone who wants to understand how the market is working, uh, what the open price is, what the close price is, a very pictorial, neat uh, design. Uh, the transactions which have happened outside the value area, the value area which is within this uh, blue uh, uh, check boxes and the green box highlighting the open price, uh, the middle box highlighting the point of control where majority of the transactions happen and the red point highlighting the close price. So it's a beautiful uh, charting mechanism for people who want to use uh, market profile. Uh, so this is something which you can uh, go ahead and use and interpret. All right, the last point and the most important point to really understand market profile one needs to read through a lot 
and one needs to really interpret how the market profile works because based on the market profile concept exactly the same thing the volume profile is done the only difference between a market profile and a volume profile is this is more of time price opportunity where alphabets are printed based on the time and price however in a volume profile situation it is more based on volume time and the price uh, at which it is uh, printed so you will see that the most amount of volume transacted would be where the point of control would be than a price at which which is transacted transacted at the most so the highest of the volume transaction gets highlighted as a as a point of control so a slight shift in the way it is looked at but not significant because it is based on the same fundamental aspects of value area low value area high which get highlighted and then you know it also highlights uh, multiple aspects like point of control uh, and others and then there are multiple other options within the uh, volume profile which can be used on certain platforms but this is a great platform you can definitely use this most importantly uh, the book which i was talking about james dalton he has written couple of books uh, mind over market markets in profile these two books are very very important for you to understand the basics and understand on what basis the entire of market profile uh, is working and how these distributions can be read unless you go through these books in detail it's very difficult for you to uh, interpret a market profile uh, chart in detail and really understand but if you are someone who wants to just go based on certain inputs which i have provided today on this particular video you can go ahead and use a market profile however i would advise you and personally recommend you to read these books by james dalton uh, they are wonderful books and they are worth spending your time on all right thank you guys have a wonderful day ahead and I look forward to interacting with you all again